Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to add and manage widgets within iOS 14. So with the newest iOS update, um, Apple released the ability to add and edit little widgets to allow you to see things at a glance. Like you can see here, if I slide over to the left, I can see a couple of widgets that I've already added and I've already played with here. Uh, but widgets allow you to not only add them here, but you can also add widgets onto one of your main pages. So I'll show you how to do that later as well. So what you're gonna want to do is, once you're on your screen here of your iOS device this works for both iPhone and iPad you're going to want to long press which means you take your finger and you press and hold onto an open space there on your screen you can see there that the wiggly mode uh, becomes available to you there and you're gonna see an addition symbol in the upper left hand corner of your screen if we tap on that addition symbol here that's going to now take us to where we can look edit and add different widgets here within the ecosystem. We can also search for widgets as well. Now there are native widgets for Apple based apps and then for updated apps as you know time progresses third party apps will allow you to like you can see here Robin Hood uh, allows you to do a widget uh, there's a Reddit app Apollo that also allows you to do uh, widgets but again as the apps are updated for iOS 14 you'll see many of them give you the ability to do that so let's say that we want to add this widget here which is a music player now you can see if I swipe left to right I can get the different looks of the widget we can do a very small square we can do elongated rectangle or we can do a much larger square it really doesn't matter you make it look how you want it to look let's go ahead and add the little rectangle here uh, go and hover over the one that you want select it and then go to add widget as you can see here it is now on my home page I told you that you'd be able to do that as well so not only are you able to add these widgets to your little widget page here on the left when you swipe all the way to the left but you'll also be able to add it here uh, on one of your home pages now in order to remove a widget it's as simple as removing an app so if we get out of that mode there long press again to bring up the wiggly mode and then go ahead and tap on the minus symbol there and then go to remove that will remove the widget just like you would remove an app now let's go back over here let's hit the addition symbol again bring up the widget list here and take a look at the different ones that we have available so another type of widget I want to show you is something that Apple calls a smart stack. If we tap on the smart stack option there, we can see here that it looks very similar to the ones that you see here, but not only does it have uh, you know, stuff that you can do left to right, but if we add the smart stack widget here, it's not just one widget. If we uh, just go ahead and swipe up or down, you can see here that all of these different widgets are within what Apple calls a smart stack. So you can have multiple widgets within one with the smart stack widget. So again, all of these here are accessed by swiping all the way to the left. So all the way to the left brings up your widgets here to where you can search for them and access them. And then in order to add them again, you just long press anywhere on your device, as long as it's not on an app icon, and then go to the addition symbol here. And that will bring up all of the different widgets that you can possibly add at the moment. One of my favorites so far is most definitely the batteries widgets. The battery widget allows you to see the charge or battery percentage of all of your Apple devices. So think iPhone, Apple Watch, iPad, AirPods, anything you have that is of the Apple ecosystem. Uh, if you add this widget, so we will close out of this here. I will go to my widgets here. Uh, go ahead and get out of this. Go to my widgets. And you can see here on the battery uh, widget here, uh, I can see that my iPhone is almost fully charged and my Apple Watch is fully charged. Uh, and again, you can edit how that looks if that's something that you want to do. Now let me know what your new favorite feature is in iOS 14 and what widgets are you going to add on to your iOS device. Hopefully this helps you out. If it did, help me out by liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel for more great technology tutorials just like this. And I will see you guys in the next video.